Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to draw the Lewis dot structure for the tetrachloroiodate ion. So here we go. This is going to be ICl4 minus. Okay, that's the formula. And that's going to give us uh, 7 valence from the iodine plus 4 chlorines each with 7 valence electrons of their own plus one more electron because of the minus one charge for a total of 36 valence electrons. All right, We can subtract out the largest multiple of eight, which in this case will be 32, leaving us with four electrons. Divide that by two to give us two non-bonding pairs. And since 32 is equal to eight times four, that means that this structure will be an AX4E2 structure meaning there's a central atom surrounded by four peripheral atoms and the central atom also has two non-bonding pairs of electrons. All right, so let's go ahead and draw the structure. We have the iodine in the center surrounded by the four chlorines. And we can go ahead and single bond all of the chlorines to the central iodine and also fill in the octets for each of the peripheral chlorines. Okay, so now they all have eight electrons, and we still have to add on these two non-bonding pairs. So we can just put one of those pairs here, and one of those pairs here. And that's actually going to be our our final structure. But also, don't forget, you have to add on the brackets, because this is an ion. So you have to put these brackets around the structure and put the charge in the top right corner. So that's going to be our final structure. But let's go ahead and uh, verify that by calculating the uh, formal charge of each atom. So the formal charge of the central iodine is going to be equal to the seven valence electrons brought in minus one, two, three, four bonds minus one, two, three, four non-bonding electrons for a formal charge of negative one. And then the formal charges on each of the chlorines which, if you notice, they all have the same setup, so all their formal charges uh, will be equal. So that's the seven valence electrons brought in, minus one single bond on each chlorine, minus the two, four, six non-bonding electrons for each chlorine for a formal charge of zero. And we multiply that by four because there are four, one, two, three, four of those chlorines. Add all these formal charges up, that gets us a negative one overall formal charge, which is what we need because this is a minus one charged ion okay so that's good there now in terms of shape when you have the ax4 e2 shape or a structure type that means that the shape is going to be what's called square planar okay and when you have a square planar shape the bond angle so they're going to be approximately equal to 90 degrees all right in terms of hybridization, looking at the central iodine, there's one, two, three, four, five, six electron groups or uh, potential bonding sites. So that means we need six hybrid orbitals. So we're going to go with sp3d2 hybrid. There's one S, three P's, two D's for a total of six, which matches the six electron groups, okay? And because of the fact that these two non-bonding pairs of electrons will cancel each other out, and all of the peripheral atoms are all the same kind of atom, they're all chlorines in this case, that means that they will also cancel each other out, making this a non-polar compound. All right, that is pretty much it for this one. If you have any questions, please let me know, and thanks for watching.